Hello, it is 7.55 p.m. on March the 9th of 2021, and um, we got a plasma ship at Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. We got a plasma ship at Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. See this. So you can see the web in the background. The plasma webs are all over this place. But because they adjusted their uh, filtering on their camera, you can't see it that well. They kind of hide it, but we can find it out because I've seen it. <laughs> we have seen it. We can see it. Uh, and these um, plasma ships did come in. It's just like that one time. Look at this. They like layered here and here on the Table Mountain, you all. Table Mountain Live webcam in South Africa. Okay, I don't really have to do nothing because this will um, this will become more prominent if we have patient patience to wait. If not, you know, we can just skip straight through it because it, it is going to move some. It is start moving. This is the main ship right here. Um, I've seen this on the table and look at these webs down here, you all. If this was not black and white, we would have got a really good view of all these webs. Yes, we love this. We absolutely love it. This is Raptor News. And here at Raptor News, we are all too familiar at what we are seeing here. We're not here to discredit what they believe. <clears throat> We're here just to say what we know. And the Most High God says, prove all things. And so that is what we are here to do. We're here to prove all things. So here at the Raptor News Channel, we've been watching this thing so long, we know exactly what we are seeing here. First of all, we are seeing the glow. We are familiar with that glow. Second of all, we notice that this glow is on the horizon. We're all too familiar with the glow that's on the horizon. Third, this glow is in the shape of a planet. We are all too used to this and familiar with a glow on the horizon that's in the shape of a planet. And the topping on the cake is not only is it a glow in the shape of a planet on the horizon, it has stripes. So we are going to view that right now and so we're gonna put some contrast on this and bam what do we see there we see the destroyer of the nations right there on the horizon in Cape Town Africa right there in Cape Town Africa that was put out today right and this thing, as you see, is just sitting there, as the Bible say, waiting in the thicket to destroy the nations. It's just sitting there. And we're going to prove all things because we're going to show you this thing moves. So all the people who are not used to this channel, you haven't been here on this channel and you don't know what the hell is really going on. Well... We only have a matter of time before this thing right here destroy this world. That thing right there is going to cause a major earthquake that God has predicted in Ezekiel and in Joel and in, in other parts of the Bible. A major earthquake that is going to shake the entire earth. It is going to shake the earth when the earth is going to be rising, they say about three feet high and sinking back down. It's going to be the worst disaster. People are not going to be standing, says God, in the day of the Lord. This thing is going to cause an eclipse. An eclipse. And it's going to turn the moon into blood. Because as you see, when we put the filter on there, you can see all the red iron oxide in the air. And you can see the planet glowing clearly in the background 
So this thing is going to knock all the power out and it has been knocking power out around these, this, this world. I ain't going to even say the country. It's been knocking power out around the world left and right. Every time this thing comes with its electrical magnetic storm, it knocks out the power grids. At one time, it had knocked down the power grid to about five or six states. I mean, uh, countries, right? And uh, recently, it has left uh, many of people without power. So, um, we're going to show you some more footage of more planet hell, the striped planet. So you can understand for the new people here that is just now seeing the video, you can understand what we already know. So we, while we're watching that, we're going to be explaining that this thing moves forwards and backwards. It does not follow a, a pattern in an orbit. It moves forward and backwards. This thing has a hot side and a cold side. We are now on the cold side of the planet and it's switching to the hot side right now. But we've been on the cold side and it's causing a freeze worldwide. It's causing the uh, uh, floods and it's causing the tornadoes and everything else that's happening. The ocean rising and the earthquakes. This thing right here has been there since the days of Noah. It is what caused the floods in the days of Noah. But it also rains down fire and ice, fire and brimstones. Are, are brimstones and hailstones and that's what was rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah hailstones right this thing is moved by evil so as the world keep going to drugs legalizing drugs legalizing prostitution legalizing everything that is against the most high God the closer this thing comes in to destroy this is the global warming that the world is talking about and they won't tell you exactly what the global warming is and why the planet is heating it up it's heating it up because this what they call a dwarf sun is coming in this dwarf sun got moons or people are spotting the moons and different things by the sun and by the moon you're spotting it they got what they call a sun halo which is the planet behind the sun so eventually this thing is going to destroy this whole world and God is going to start anew. So it's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. So you guys tell me what y'all think in the comments. And basically, just like I said, we have ran out of time. And, uh, you know, we see that this is the end. Everything is about to collapse and fall. This is Wrap the News.